Hi guys, uh, I just wanted to make a quick video here just to show people how to find the very last server that they were active on and uh, when playing Daisy, just to find the uh, server IP address. Um, now there is a very simple way, manual way of doing it. Uh, I just wanted to show you basically how to set up a quick batch file that will locate it for you while you're in game that you can just all tab and click on this file. So first of all, uh, as you know, the history tab within the game on the server list isn't that reliable. Well, it's not for me anyway. So if you want to find the last IP address or the last server IP address, you just open up Windows Explorer, uh, go to uh, my documents. Uh, in here, you should have a DayZ folder. Uh, it saves by default there, I think. So once you get in here, you're going to see a file with just your name on it. Ignore everything else. This you need to open up with my documents. So when it asks you which default program or with notepad, should I say. So when you click on that, it's going to ask you just click on notepad from the drop down list. OK, so once I open that I just control F and what you need to write it is last MP server. Now, this will show you the IP address. So you just need to copy and paste that IP address into the remote section on the server list and uh, it will find the port for you, you don't need to worry about that. But um, what I wanted to do was make a, a little batch file, dot .batch file that will automatically open that window for you. So while you're playing, you can just Alt-Tab, click on the file and uh, just a quick search and you'll find the IP address. So what you need to do is you just need to open a blank document, um, a notepad document, file and save as. Now you can call it whatever you want, so daisy uh, IP1 I'm going to call it. Um, now. You need to change it from here, save as type to all files, uh, encoding, ANSI, but that's going to be default anyway. Um, we need to change the extension. So you need to change it to .bat, it's a batch file, so .bat. Um, you can save it to your desktop or to uh, wherever you want to put it. Okay, so save. Now you can see it here. So what we need to do is we need to put a command in this file so that we'll, it will open the file for us. What we need to do is, from where we were earlier, so we need to put in the uh, the location basically into the command line. So open. So what you need to do is edit. Now I'll put this into the into the comment section. So you don't need to type this out. Uh, all you need to do is paste it from the comment section into a new document. So at echo off. Basically, what that does is that when you activate the batch file, it shouldn't show you the command window. Now for me, it does for some reason. But uh, I said I'd just leave it in there anyway. That's what Google said. Um, all you need to change is this. Change it to your name or the admin's name, or unless you have it saved anywhere different. You know, but it's it's pretty obvious what you got to change in there. So once you have those two lines in, just file and save. Okay, and from there, just exit out. You can see now you can put this wherever you want. As I said, um, when you double click on this now, it will open the folder or open the Notepad file that we were looking at earlier on. So again, last MP server. And uh, there you have it. So copy and paste this. Go back to Daisy. Okay, now that you have the IP address uh, from the last server that you were on, uh, it's very simple from here. You just go into the server list, uh, go up top here to the remote tab, the very last tab. Uh, you can see my details are in there from last time. So just clear any details. It's probably going to be blank in here if this is the first time you're trying it. Uh, so paste it in here. This is the IP address that we just located. Press OK. And as you can see, there is the very last server that you were on. So you can just connect from there. So I uh, hope that was helpful. And uh, thanks very much for watching.